Hello, everybody. Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI, New Frontier Pass as Portugal. I'm still in the process of converting the entirety of Russia to Confucianism. Yes, including its holy city. And things are going better than I expected. I didn't lose any of my religious units to this free city here, which I'm going to try to capture in this part. And should a religious emergency break out over me converting Russia's religious city, I'll be fine. Probably. I think I may want to do is probably get a few more siege units in here so I can have a better chance at getting Solik Omsk into my civilization in a shorter amount of time. Hattusa. That's down there where India would be. I see. But it has minus one amenities. I think there used to be a menu in earlier versions of this game where you can check each of your city's statuses. Okay, which report? Okay, uh, yeah, it's right there. So... Yeah, I need to get some amenities here real quick. To err is before all else. While all else, I mean. Oh, and I can even form a form some corps to make them stronger. That's nice. And as for technology, I'm going to work my way towards um, I thought that, given that line here, synthetic materials and nuclear fission would connect to composites, but I guess synthetic materials will have to wait for later. Maybe I need to get some of my amenities into some holy city-states so I can... So I can get some more faith for my apostles. Oh, and Solgoms has a holy site too, so... That's gonna be a much bit... That's gonna be a very good bargain for me if I'm able to capture it at this time. Pro sir. That's what I'm gonna get for when I move this apostle down here to maintain Confucianism in. Okay, okay, I think Confucianism has stopped being the dominant religion in Byzantium, and it has. That's a disaster. I. I'd better be glad I'm doing something about this now, honestly.
Okay, I like Solagumsk's strategy here. I doubt it's going to prove problematic to my army, though, because I have a lot of people here. Oh, whoa. Oh man, I completely forgot I had Apocalypse Mode enabled. So, I take it the world's ending now. It's just a matter of who survives what for the rest of this game, I believe. I find it a bit of a shame that I can't make a corpse out of vampire units, but I think that's for the best. I told you to be the follower of this one true religion world. Octavio. Exit by foot is always the safest option. And he was killed. I see now. I kind of wanted him to come back to my civilization so I could... Very well, Cyrus. I'll stop spying on you. But as for me, I'm still going to get my own spies for in case any more gold gets stolen out of Lisbon by whatever enemy, by whatever civilization is sending spies after me. And really, they had better stop doing that. <sighs> I just hope no comets hit my civilization in the near future. <sighs> I'm I'm nervous now. That something bad is going to happen to my civilization. Given that Apocalypse Mode is enabled and it's at its... Okay, where did it get impacted this time? Oh, down here. Impact Zone. St. Petersburg is proving to be a bit stubborn when it comes to religious conversion. Slowly but surely, it's happening, but I will get there, no matter what. Don't plan on using any coal for any for any occupation soon, so sure. 
Even if it's even if it's for a little gold. I'll take it. And quite frankly, I it looks like I'm losing gold too. So I don't know how long these impact zones are supposed to last. It's kind of scary to think about how far humanity has come, and yet this is happening. The world is officially ending. Get out of here, you barbarian. Where did the comet hit this time? Okay, it's somewhere in North America, probably where... I don't know, but I believe it was a city of Canada's. Yep, St. Petersburg was once the cradle of human, of Eastern Orthodoxy. But now the faithful flock to the temples of Confucianism. And I'll tell you one thing. The government that I get, the Tier 3 government, it had better not be communism. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the two confused. If I do choose it as my new way of governmental operations. Did I meet Valletta, militaristic city state? I see. And wow, I've been exploring more and more cities throughout this game. It's looking like Russia will not be the place for holy ground anymore. That's for sure. I think the diplomatic favor that I have just might be enough to hold back the religious emergency that Peter might call. Era ends in one turn, and I have a feeling that that I'm going to be entering a dark age here once the information era begins. Moving both of my Apostles to Archangelsk probably won't be that good an idea, given that I'll probably still need some at St. Petersburg so I can defend Confucianism from those who want to revert it back to Eastern Orthodoxy or convert it to any other religion. Keep having enough faith for just one apostle. Signe is a 250 square mile tiger trap made up on massive obelisks riddled with jagged spears 
And yes, they will cut your pretty face. Sinji. Where did I find that at? It's all the way in Madagascar. Keep expecting it to not show up in... I keep expecting it to, not, to show up somewhere in the mainland. Either of the two continents. But I guess I'm learning something or relearning things even as we go deeper into the game. I see this as somewhat of a win. Guys, finish up so I can convert this last Russian city to Confucianism. Special session. I knew this moment would come. I needed all the diplomatic favor I could get for this. The Dark Age. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Leave the atom alone. The ultimate end of any. <laughs> okay, so this is a Dark Age and. Fortunately, the religious emergency has been prevented. And I only have my diplomatic favor to thank for that. Oh, is that while I'm thinking of it? I should get some more troops near Solokomsk. All right. I'll do Bodyguard of Lies as my dedication. Translator for this Apostle. The screen keeps flashing red. Keeps flashing reddish hues because we're in an apocalypse now. New government attained. Fascism. Hmm. I think I'm gonna choose democracy as my way to go. And while I have the opportunity, I'm going to get my last governor, Magnus, the steward. And I'll station him in Copan. Because this is a dark age, and I fear that if I hadn't assigned my governors anywhere, cities would be lost to loyalty.
Okay, I'll see if anything happens now, and then I will leave this video off and sign off. For this part, at least. Okay, well, I believe that me using up pretty much all of my diplomatic favor would play a role in Novemba praising me for accepting him as the supreme leader of Earth. What happened? What just... Around the world, a solar flare has emerged and it's destroyed pretty much the entire... The, all of humanity's things. Technological stuff. I'm going to move this Apostle right down into Byzantium territory. I really do want this religious victory. And I really do mean it with all my heart. Okay, so that's Byzantium converted back again. And I'm... No. This is more than likely not going to be enough. I haven't done anything to contribute to the world climate change and still the apocalypse is happening. Oh dear. And it's looking like Solokomsk is aiming to return to Russian rule. <sighs> Sheesh. Yeah, I think another spy is going to have to be made in Lisbon. Made and stationed in Lisbon. I have no idea who keeps doing it, but if you are, then I demand that they show their face to me now. Immediately. But the spy is going to have to come a bit later because I believe this is where I'm going to have to end this part off. I'll just let the rest of this turn play out and do my sign off for this part. So this is how this part's going to end. Not with a whimper, but with a bang. And a big one at that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to think about how I am going to survive this apocalypse. What city was that? I know it wasn't mine. I could see the borders, which means it definitely belonged to Germany. Oh wow, that's Germany's problem. Probably not mine in the near future. So, that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!